My name is Hemi John, Vice President of HMM Southeast Asia Region Headquarters in Singapore. Two of us will be the um, co MC for the event tonight. And on behalf of Okanai and Host, we would like to extend our welcome to all of you to our HMM Thailand Customer Appreciation Dinner 2019 Chennai and Karat Hotel. Um, Mr. Sumet, you look very special and more handsome tonight Thank with you. these traditional Thai clothes. Do you sometimes wear these clothes? For me, um, actually, it's been a little more than 10 years since I wore this um, traditional Korean clothes called Hanbok last time, which was my <laughs> wedding ceremony. I don't know how I look like. Hey, Mr. Sumet, when Frank speaking, I think you still looking good on your costume tonight and it looked like you just got married yesterday. Oh. 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 Thank you, I'm so glad I was Yeah, anyway, thanks for your nice wedding about my dress. Actually, I keep looking for this dress for many days because of I know that tonight. I have to be on stage with a beautiful and tall girly like you tonight. <laughs> yeah. I'm at a loss actually. Yeah. Thank you anyway, Sumit. Okay, I think we need to be a bit, bit more serious. Okay, so to begin with, um, let us invite a gentleman onto the stage for um, welcoming address. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, let us invite Mr. Leo Choi, um, the Managing Director of HMM Talent Office. Uh, thank you for joining us tonight. This is Leo Choi, MD with Hyundai Thailand. Um, uh, we have the 120 guests today, and it's the biggest party HM Thailand ever held since, since 22 years ago. So I'm a little nervous. <laughs> so I wanted to thank you to all of the uh, Hyundai Thailand, very special, important customers and partners here. And also, I want to express my special thanks to uh, our guests coming here from the foreign countries, from Korea and Indonesia and Singapore. 감사합니다. 드리마카시. Thank you, La. The uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Hyundai Thailand, uh, we have 80 person working together like a family. And today, um, this event also we prepared uh, all together, taking each other's part. And later, our staff will show you some performance. So even though they are not professional, and maybe they make some small mistakes, but please understand that they volunteered to prepare their performance because showing themselves should be the best way to show their gratitude in their mind. So enjoy tonight, have fun, and please have a good memory of tonight. Unforgettable. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Leo, for your greetings and welcoming remarks. And next, for the further delay, may I have the honor to invite Mr. DHO, our HMM Managing Director of uh, Southeast Asia Regional Headquarters on stage to deliver this speech. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me welcome Mr. DHO. Good evening, everyone. Sawadika. Uh, really, I'm so happy how I can describe my feeling. Uh, really, this is first my journey to go together with the, my CEO, our CEO. Really so happy. Uh, firstly, 
Firstly, I would like to welcome you to this spectacular event and then appreciate it for your joining us tonight for our transformation journey. We are honored to be in the beautiful kingdom of Thailand, one of the jewels of the South Asian region. It is also a pleasure for me to welcome Mr. J.H. Bay, as this is the first function of this kind in Thailand. It's truly an honor to have our CEO here together with us. And then your support, our CEO support for this event brings happiness to all who are attending this evening. Thailand is a country with a long cultural heritage that sits easily alongside the modern metropolis such as Bangkok. This gives our host country a unique place in the world. Drawing upon its past as well as drive toward a prosperous future, the Thai people have much to value. When we take a look at our HMM recent movements, new strategic partnership have been formed the alliance, growing our TO capacity toward the one million marks through our own new shipbuilding program and access to the most competitive service in world shipping for the HMM. New service also coming from USA and Europe to Bangkok directly with more frequency. We can offer our qualified service to the customers, specifically for the Bangkok and Thailand and supplemented by our Inter-Asia service, giving a 30 strings minimum yeah, for the Middle East and India as well. We are heavily investing in a technology that adds value to your supply chain, such as IoT, blockchain, and our cloud-based Gauss 2020. These have been specifically designed to push the level of service you can expect from HMM to higher standard of excellence. The future has been described the unknown country. HMM's future is to push the forward for, with our customers and partners to discover the richest the future hall. Stronger together, win together, happy together. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. DHO, for your nice presentation and meaningful presentation. Ah, speech. And then, you know, before we move on to the next opening ceremony, uh, we have we are very proud to show you our PowerPoint presentation that will be presented by my co MC Hemi. The gentleman may have your full attention for Hemi for her presentation. Thank you, Sir Matt. Okay, um, esteemed customers and our partners. I'm very um, excited and very honored to be given a chance to share with you the changes in HMM in year 2020. And indeed, year 2020 will be some kind of milestone for HMM's history, which is why I put the title of my presentation, HMM Opening a New Era. As you might have heard from our colleagues and also from the media release, HMM will be joining the Alliance. We will be decoupling from 2M partners and will be a, one of the members of the Alliance from 1st of April next year. Apparently, um, the Alliance will, get, will be comprised of four liners, including HMM, Oeni, Hapak, and Yangming. While um, our current partnership with 2M partners is only limited as a strategic partner, we will be given a full alliance membership for the duration of 10 years starting from 2020. And the cooperation scope will be from Asia to US West and East Coast, Asia to North Europe and Mediterranean, and also the cooperation to other trades can be extended subject to the discussion. And what's more important is that we will be delivered with brand new mega ships, namely 12 vessels of 24,000 TU class ships, which will be deployed in our North Europe trade in year 2020. 
And on top of that, we will continue to be delivered with eight vessels of 15,000 TU class ship in the following year, year 2021. So, by joining the Alliance and by being delivered with mega ships in the consecutive two years, we will be able to continue expansion of our capacity in line with the market, not to mention the improvement in our service, um, service quality. It's a little difficult um, to disclose and publicize all the changes in our product next year yet, but um, here is what's going to be the major changes in our east and west trades. For U.S. West Coast, South uh, Pacific South, uh, the number of the loops we have will be increased from five to seven, with an increase in capacity by three percent. We will have direct service from Southeast Asia, Southeast Asia including Lamchabang, and the rest of the services um, to, from ma major Asian ports. And for Pacific North. The number of the loops will be increased from one to four, with an increase in BSA by 17%. And for this uh, Pacific North also, we will have a direct calling service from Southeast Asia, covering Lam Chabang, Kaimep, Singapore, and Haiphong. Uh, and what's noticeable is a um, tremendous increase in our BSA in the East Coast. As you might uh, be already aware, our exposure to the East Coast is limited um, to the portion of 18% of our total TP capacity, but we will have an increase in our BSA by 60% in East Coast, and we will ha have um, that direct service from Southeast Asia, along with the diversified um, service in East Coast. And the North Europe trade, this is where we will be delivering um, the mega ships of 24,000 TU class vessels, where we will be um, expanding our BS by 24%. For North Europe, yes, we will also have the Southeast Asia direct calling service, which actually now we are running under a, a name of a FE5. But with this FE5 calling directly from Namchaba, our BSA next year will be increased by almost double. So definitely by putting this um, brand new 24,000 TU vessels, we will have a competitiveness in our operational cost. And last but not least, for Mediterranean, the number of the loops will also be increased from 2 to 3, with 5% of expansion in our BSA. So, all in all, our BSA will be augmented by 16% in TPS trade, along uh, with an increase in our BSA for Europe trade by 22%. Okay, with joining the Alliance and the changes in our product, we will come to have a stronger presence in Thailand for especially East and West trade by having direct services from Lam Chabang to uh, Pacific North, PS, along with East Coast, not to mention Europe. So, the significance of Thailand market will be even bigger than now not to mention to this whole industry, but also to HMM. So we'll be expecting your continued and more support to our HMM Thailand office uh, with the upcoming new services. Um, like I mentioned, the cooperation with the Alliance will not just be limited to West and East trades. We, will, uh, we are discussing with the D Alliance partners for Middle East and India trade also. For Middle East trade, our current sole operation of KME will somehow be reshuffled in a way to improve the um, coverage in the Far East and also Middle East side. And for India, this wind service, we are using a little bit of um, service uh, space as a space exchange, but uh, we will increase our BSA as a form of pendulum service with PS3. This will give us um, better frequency and connection for the cargo out of Southeast Asia transshipment in Singapore. And as you might know, um, we are currently running three direct services from Thailand to Middle East, 
North India and South India, those will remain unchanged. Okay, last but not least, this intra-Asian trade. This is where we keep the rationalization of the services in order to provide a better coverage and frequency. And we are currently cooperating and will intensify the cooperation uh, with two Korean flag carriers under the name of HMM plus K2. So all in all, for Asian trades, we will not have a tremendous increase in BSA like East and West trade, but definitely we will continue to make a rationalization in our service to make your demand better. Um, okay, so before the actual commencement of the D Alliance Corporation next year from April, this is a tentative timeline we have. By the end of November, we will be finalizing the discussion with the partners for 202 services, um, targeting at the press release for the 2020 service plan in December. In March next year, we will be able to finalize the deployment plan, terminal selection, and birth window for a successful commencement of the DL Alliance Corporation. Um, along with the changes in our product, one of the other significant change and transition that face not only to HMM, but also to this whole industry, um, the environmental regulation by IMO. With the change in the environmental regulation by International Maritime Organization, starting from January 1st, as you might know, the sulfur limitation allowed for the vessel's bunker use will be reduced from 3.5% to 0.5%. This will definitely bring a tremendous increase in our bunker cost. So just like um, any other carers do, HMM will be also implementing a surcharge for the recovery of the cost and to better comply with this new environmental regulation. We will be running a, a bunker surcharge on two tracks First one, for the rates with short-term uh, validity less than three months, we will be imposing a surcharge called ECC, Environment Compliance Charge, which will be effective from December 1st for the all trades other than intra-Asia, we will introduce from 20th of November. And for the rates who require validity more than three months, we will be implementing the floating buff which will be applied on top of the freight, which we will split from the conventional all-in rate. These bunker tariffs will be revised every three months based on the actual bunker reading and the trade factor based on our bunker cost. So, again, for the compliance of um, this new environmental regulation and to sustain from the cost increase, we would anticipate your understanding and cooperation to the safe landing of this new bunker surcharge. This is pretty much about what I uh, prepared. Thank you for your attention and uh, hope to have your uh, continuous support to HMM for mutual growth and uh, benefit. Thank you. Thank you very much for your professional and your uh, useful you know, presentation. And next, we would like to, to present you our HMM video presentation that show our success, businesses, and future plan. So everybody, ladies and gentlemen, please enjoy the video. Thank you.
Marine Performance contain its principle to underline the trust and dedication to customers. HMM will be a new option in delivering optimized services and increasing schedule reliability to meet the customer's needs. HMM has diversified its business by operating various sizes of container ships, tankers, boat carriers, and heavy lift vessels. The company also provides the one-stop solution to carry oversized cargoes with the utmost care and expertise. The unique technology in ultra-freezing is able to guarantee the freshness of perishable goods longer, even in the equatorial area, and to safely maintain the value of the customer's cargoes. The HMM's global service network, covering all over the world, extends to inland locations beyond the sea. HMM transports all types of cargo to anywhere by means of a range of inland transportation networks, which include marine terminals and logistics facilities in worldwide major locations. HMM is proactive by adopting advanced IT technologies in a rapidly changing shipping industry. services will satisfy customers and will enable real-time monitoring of vessel operation. The IT capability is a key factor to improve navigation safety as well as to keep promises with customers.
Action in Merchant Marine. It is time for a quantum leap beyond all boundaries to the greatness in our future. Um, I personally felt some kind of heart pounding and excitement while watching the video and I hope all our dear guests got the same too. Yes, and tonight it could be a very big day for us for HMM. And I think this is going to be a very you know, meaningful time for us. And I think it's an important part of this event. We're coming to the very uh, important part of this event. And ladies and gentlemen, may I invite our President CEO uh, uh, to, to come to the stage and you know, give the opening remark to all of us. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Jae Hoon Bae, President of the
And the first show will be performed by my customer's manager. This dance, special dance called Shui Chai. Shui Chai, actually, he is in the history. Uh, it's said that Lord Shiva has transformed himself to be a dancer and dance in front of the king. So Shui Chai dancing is mean a lot of things. This mean bringing the happiness, happiness, and the success. So, ladies and gentlemen, may I have your full attention and let me present you the show of Chui Shai for our customer service manager, Ms. Alunwan. Please welcome Ms. Van Monster, please.
Gentlemen, hope um, you enjoyed the video. Yeah, I really and enjoyed it very much. I hope that you like the show as well. And get to know a little bit more of our Korean K-pop culture. And how was the movie, Suman? Yeah, I think I'm very lucky. Actually, because of this picture between you know, Thai and Korean dance, right? Yeah, anyway, welcome me. I think the time goes very fast. And we only finished one third show very fast already. I think it's time for us to leave the stage and you know, go back to the table and try to put our meal on the guest. Okay, so please enjoy the meal and good time. Thank you. Thank you very much.